Welcome to On the Ledge with Dante and Ricky. I'm Dante. And I'm Ricky. Ricky, before this podcast, before we set up, I almost died. I almost died. I fell down the stairs. I was carrying my laptop and my microphone. And oh my God. I just, I just, I just, <laughs> my body was just like, hey, we're done. <laughs> it's over. And I tripped and I fell. And my laptop, because I was watching something at the same time, which I probably shouldn't do, but I still do. And <laughs> it slammed shut. As I was falling, I was like, there goes the laptop. We can't shoot today. <laughs> and a piece of it flew off. So just something flew off off the bottom. So I was just like, my laptop's destroyed. I'm done though. But it just was the bottom case. And I opened it and it was fine. But yeah, my body just gave out. I almost died. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Damn. Well, <laughs> good thing you're here. <laughs> <laughs> have you fallen down the stairs recently? <laughs> No, I don't think I have. <laughs> this is not the first time for me with a laptop in my hand that I fell down the stairs. Like one time I was holding Latifa and I also fell Gosh. Down the stairs. <laughs> and like that that was a few years back though. So I was holding her and holding my laptop. I can't remember if it was this one or another one because I've had this one for a while. And then I fell down the stairs, but I also protected her in the laptop. So I seem to be able to protect as I'm falling because <laughs> I have a bruise. I have a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man sounds like you had uh quite the experience just yes. to getting here yeah you know just to shoot you know i risked my life for this podcast <laughs> <laughs> oh. but you know what with that i feel like you know i'm getting older you know my body is it you know moving as it used to <laughs> My sense it's not as agile. Just, it's not as, no, uh, not as agile. Just stable. Oh, that's it, no. <laughs> Apparently, because I'm just falling downstairs, Ricky. That's how I feel. Do you feel older? Do you feel like you're getting old? Uh, mentally, no. Body wise, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm starting to feel it. It's, I don't know, just the way that I kind of approach things. Sometimes, uh, my brain just kind of young. Feels like it's young. Thinks really like a kid early 20s but you definitely feel it in the body the way i react to things yeah definitely not as fast anymore so well i i feel like so well just that example i don't i feel old <laughs> but the like <laughs> other times like sometimes i've noticed like if i'm dropping something i could still like catch it really fast and i pay attention to it so i think i'm okay that way because i guess i'm just keeping up with working out but not right now because of the lockdown stuff but i mentally I think I feel older now, not to say maybe I don't feel like I'm like, I'm mature, but not like, I don't feel like I'm super. Yeah. Super that's what I mean. I, yeah. I, I know I'm more mature, but I like to stay young in my mind. Uh, mm. Just cause I feel like if I let that go and get old, then I just lost everything. I'm just going to be old all around, you know? Really? Uh. I, but I think for me, I think like, because I've always been called like an old man from young, but I guess it was because like, my voice was deeper, like right away, like it got deep, like pretty quickly. Right. But I've always felt like I, I would always joke around and complain for my back or anything like that, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, but did you had injuries. I even remember when we were in high school, you had like a chest injury because you tried Ooh. to do uh, push ups and you uh, failed. And uh, a, for a while, you could not do push ups, apparently. <laughs> That's an amazing story. So, because I like, I'm not gonna say the person's name because like we haven't asked, but like there was this person in high school that was like a gymnast, and they were like really, really in shape, and that's when I still did taekwondo. So I was in shape, and I'm also like competitive that way sometimes. Like I'm not the most athletic person like for sports stuff, but like taekwondo was good. I could run fast, I think, <laughs> but like he, we were doing like some drill, and he was doing push-ups. And then he did a push-up and he clapped behind his back and then went back down and continued doing push-ups. Yeah. Like, I could do that too. I could I do Taekwondo, I'm a black belt. I could do it too. So then I went and I don't know if something like opened up or something. And then I had like inflammation in my chest. So like everything, like I couldn't go too hard in the gym or anything like that. Like right. still to this day, I don't I don't even use like bench press at all. Like I'll use okay, the dumbbells. Wait. Yeah. To that point. There's a video circulating right now on TikTok. Um, and it's, I don't know his name, but he's trying to break his PR or something. Um, and if you watch it, his he's doing inclined bench press. Yeah. Um, and he has a spotter. So he's, you know, 
but mm. his muscle like locks. And so there's a lot of TikToks right now after they watch the video, they're like, uh, when they do incline bench press, they use like the lightest weight because they don't want to see that. Cause if you see it, it's disgusting. If yeah, it's, you know, when you, when there was a video of the guy who locked his legs um, doing the leg press and then his yeah, knee bends think, backwards, yeah. it's very similar to that where you see it and you're just very scared to do that exercise because you know the the damage that could come of it. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Cause I, I kept seeing a lot of TikToks on it <laughs> and I was like, what is this video? <laughs> I just that that puts the fear of God on me. Like I, because I usually go to the gym by myself now. So oh, when I was going, when we're going to the gym, when it's open to go. So yeah. I like I wouldn't I, I would never do it by myself. And if I was going to do it by myself, like I rarely ever did it by myself. I would go lighter than I could lift. But like because of that chest injury, so like still to this day, if I go too hard on chest, it still hurts. Just because I was competitive <laughs> at one time, and then now. I, but I think it may have been something else too. Because like. When I had those pains, I t- <laughs> we learned about like um, angina pains in health class. So it's like a, a, it's either like a heart or chest thing. So I go to my doctor and I'm like, I think I have angina. Uh, he goes, Jesus Christ, angina, you better hope you don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you don't have that. It's <laughs> I was just like, I learned a new word. That's what I have. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that's that you know that's me being competitive yeah. and getting injured in my chest i mean nowadays the pains are more in the back the knees yeah. the shoulders yeah. just i can't i mean i know that well i don't really work out too much uh mm. anymore but if i so the other day or like two weeks ago we bought new covers for our couches and okay. We had to take it apart to put it on. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think that's like the most physical activity I've done in whoever knows how long. Um, The next day I could feel it. I felt it even in my arms. Just It wasn't even like a heavy workout. It's, I think the couch is maybe 50 to 100 pounds. So it's nothing too crazy. But for the next day, it's just sore muscles and everything. Um, it's just not great, man. My body is not doing so hot. <laughs> it's just like anything, like now we have to now take the precautions. Like when they tell you to like lift with your knee, your legs, your, right? Your legs, like lift with your legs and everything, not with your back. Cause you, yeah. You, you ha- like you have to, like before when you were younger, you could snap back from it, even if you weren't doing it probably. But like nowadays, it's like you have to, cause there was this um in university I took, it was either psych part one or two, or I took both. I took one of the two, but I, I remember this point specifically because they said your body starts to go downward. <laughs> like everything starts right. to go downward between 26 and 30. So as soon as I hit 26, I was just like, it's all downhill from here, man. It's all <sighs> oh, over. Man. My prime's gone. It's all downhill. Even though like, but I don't know if it's just me putting on pounds. Like, like when the gym was open between like the pandemic, so between the different lockdowns, yeah, I felt bigger than i have been so i feel like i'm getting better that way but like i don't know like it's still like the soreness like after going back from a long time it's it's so much pain like you know that when your biceps lock yeah like biceps and they lock like that like it's so much pain it's, it's it's crazy but like i know the back pains i used to do this um really dumb thing at work where i would leave my wallet in my back pocket and sit on it Oh. So then I have this pain in my, but I think, I don't think that's like an older thing. It's just like me being dumb. So then you're like shifting your body. Yeah. It's like uneven, pain. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So then yeah. I have this pain in my side and that pain, cause like I, I stopped doing it for a while, but even that lasted like that pain in my side. And sometimes I'll even get it if I'm not like lying down or, or sitting properly. It just hits. It's just like certain injuries, they just come back to haunt you. It's just like, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I used to put my wallet in the back pocket too. Yeah. Um, and I experienced that too. But the main reason I stopped doing that was because uh, I lost my wallet that way. So I was oh. on the bus and it fell out. And I, it's hard to tell. Um, yeah. Because yeah it's, it's, you just don't know if something's missing from the back pocket. Yeah. Um, and the pants I was wearing, they weren't 
really like tight so it wasn't yeah. it was really easy for, for things to fall out so i lost my wallet and after that luckily i was able to get it back it was at the mm. train station so they just dropped it off at the um well i guess the lost and found right right yeah. um but after that i just said i'm never doing that again and then i also noticed like a huge difference because i was sitting more comfortably um so i was like wow this is a <laughs> this was really causing me a lot of pain Right? It's just like, who yeah. knew sitting evenly was better, <laughs> right? <laughs> who knew sitting lopsided would cause a problem? Like me, yeah. I still, I still like, if I'm like walking, I'll still have it in my back pocket. And then if I go to sit, I'll move it to the front. Yeah. But like, I think I should like transition to like those smaller wallets too, where you just put the cards in. and everything. Yeah, that's there. what I have now. I stopped using like the bifolds or the trifolds just because I don't usually carry cash. Um, yeah. And I only have like two to three cards with me anyway, so uh, it's a good size wallet. And I just put it in the front pocket now, so it's a little bit safer, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, Upsides from actual exercise and weightlifting pains, <laughs> the other day actually, I was uh, I was just playing with my girlfriend and I was hiding, so mm -hmm. um, in order to hide in this tiny unit i have to just crouch down and i'm also a tall i would say so i have to really They're crouch down me like you're six no i'm six almost i would say 511 but five eleven. Oh. i'm 511 but i like to round up to six because i'm just cutting it you know I, 511 <laughs> first of all is a lot of syllables six is one right okay <laughs> i'm saving myself a lot of breath here Five eleven. That's four <laughs> syllables versus one. I'm gonna say the one. Forget it. <laughs> you both your story. I do the same thing, except I'm shorter. So I'm five six and a half. That's a lot. So I wound <laughs> up to five seven, right? Even though I'm five seven. I'm yeah. five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying? Yeah. So, um, so I was trying to hide and mm. try to scare my girlfriend. So I had to bend down and get a better position mm -hmm. um but when i bent down you could hear all the cracks going down my knees and i was like wow that's a lot of sound <laughs> and that's when i knew it, i mean we're not old we're not no we're not old we're we're turning 27 this year yeah uh, not even 30 so you know we have time we're, we're really young if you think about it in no, comparison no, it Yes, in the grand scheme of things, because of how long people can live now, God willing, it's like, yes, we're younger, but we're almost 30. I know, That's man. Big, like the three zero, <laughs> like the dirty 30. I'm so, I don't know why I'm, because I don't mind aging, but it's just like, I, that one, 20 didn't scare me. I loved being 10. <laughs> I'm a double digit now. I remember calling people, like when people called me on my 10th birthday, I was like, I'm a double digit now. Look at me. And then like 20, I liked, but like 30, I don't know, man. That's, yeah. that's the age. But that's the, one. the way, so there's a lot of negative or scary things about being 30 out there on the internet. Yeah. I actually have a website that I was reading up, uh, Bub's, mm -hmm. BuzzFeed. They have a list of the, 30 things that happen when you turn 30 and i was going through it and i thought you know what that'd actually be pretty good to go through today so we'll, okay I'll, I'll walk you through and see if we are uh experiencing any of the stuff on this list <laughs> to see Already? how close we are <laughs> <laughs> but yeah 30 is a scary number for a lot of people it seems online um yeah. but and if you think about it it's only three years from us yeah and there's not a lot of changes that's gonna happen. <laughs> so no, there, there isn't. No, no, there isn't. We're yeah, people. there's not a lot. Yeah. So I'm not a big fan of uh, birthdays. Be like I like to celebrate them, but for my own birthday, there's one year to the other. There's not a lot of changes. I feel like after 19, as a Canadian, there's there's really no new uh, progression after that. It's once 19 is when you start to kind of get all legal rights you can start drinking that's it you can start drinking that's like the final milestone 
But for like me yeah. that doesn't drink, 19 was just like, oh, I'm 19. I, I maybe take shots sometimes randomly. But yeah. the, the only other big age thing is like, a, but I've never had to do, like, have you ever had to rent a car? Because you can't do that till 25. For whatever yeah, reason. yeah. I, I just remember 25 is another one, but that's yeah. renting a car is, is renting so a car. I don't really too. need it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really know. Yeah. But it's, it's like after 19, there's like the renting a car is the milestone, but beyond that, there's not really much going on. So for me, birthdays have always been like, oh, well, I'm just a year older. I don't really feel it. I don't really notice it because yeah. still the same person, if not, well, maybe not mentally, but generally the same person I was a yeah. year ago. Right, so, it's like just a little more experiences under your belt, right? Like every time you're yeah. like getting a new birthday, but I'm the same way. Like for me, I always like, it's just a, it's just another day. Like I don't, like, I don't want to do anything big ever. Like I don't mind, ce- like, like you said, I don't mind celebrating other people's birthdays, but for me, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's just another day. It's just another day. Yeah. So 30 doesn't necessarily scare me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think aging is something that's kind of scary nowadays, especially uh, with all the body changes. And I think another thing that scares me is just uh, like my parents are aging rather than me right. aging. Because obviously, right. as I age, yeah. they age more or they're aging too. Yeah. Um, but they're hitting the, the like, the age where it's like uh they're getting old so i should probably spend more time with them or you know incorporate them more in my life so that's i think that's the scariest thing but personally aging is like it is what it is <laughs> it's gonna happen nothing i can do right um it's just the amount of time that i have left with uh people that i care about no that's a that's a great point because like i feel that too because like my parents will never let me the both of them will be like don't say my age <laughs> so they're 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 not they're they're an age. <laughs> Their ages. <laughs> the ages that they are are older than me by a certain amount. <laughs> so they're, I, I feel that too. I feel that too. But I, I, I think for me, because like anytime they're around like us, like like me and my brother out in public, they're always like, like, like it's me and my dad and my brother. Like, aren't you guys all brothers? And it was just like, no, <laughs> we're with my mom. That's just like, is that your sister? And she's like, no, we're just, <laughs> just like, but like, because they look, they like, they, yeah. But I, I, just, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I think I, I feel it more with, I feel it with my parents and then more with my, because I'm lucky enough to have all four grandparents still. So it's just like, I feel it with them. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another thing. I don't know if yeah. you've experienced it is gray hairs so i don't know if it's because it's genetics but mm-hmm. i've been recently finding a lot of uh gray like or white hairs one? not a lot like one or two here and there but it's been okay let me try to do the math so i moved here in august and mm-hmm. i think i found like 10 hairs since i've moved here <laughs> so it's wow. been bad yeah and recently it's been bad i've maybe it's just the stress it could, I don't know. maybe maybe it did like because i know sometimes that kicks it in but it's just literally like what is it it's like the dead hair what is it it's something i don't know it's <laughs> just, science <laughs> it's science yeah. right like it just happens when it happens for people i found i think i've only seen two and i've tried to pull out the one and it's just like it's like it's like right about here. I'm not gonna take my hat off because my my hair is atrocious right now, and I need yeah. to cut. And I miss the barber so right. much. But <laughs> I, I have like one or two that I found, and that one. But I found those like years ago, and I don't think I've had more since. So I've been okay. Yeah, you you've been lucky. <laughs> you've been lucky, but I don't think like I don't like the last time i saw you i don't think i know i would have noticed that oh no like it's yeah yeah because i have a i have a lot of hair in my head uh Mm -hmm. so it's sometimes it's even hard to find my girlfriend will notice and she loves to pluck it so she does it for me (laughs) (laughs) she's always she's always got an eye for it you know because if she sees it she knows she can get it out right now (laughs) (laughs) yeah so it's it's hard to tell because my hair is also very shiny um Mm -hmm. sometimes when i look in the mirror with the if the lighting is just right i'll be like is that a gray hair i'll have to rummage around and it's like no it's just the lighting so it's like okay we're good there but (laughs) yeah i've been noticing it a lot uh and then 
okay, genetically, would you are you expecting to bald in the future? I I think so. Cause again, why I'm wearing a hat is because I need a haircut. But my I notice like I still have I'm so nervous talking about because I don't want to like put it out <laughs> into existence. Like I'm just like, but like I noticed that maybe it's starting to go back a bit. Like my hairline, like the sides uh... are dope, but like the the front, but I've always had this like I don't know if this is the correct term, but what I've always called it like a cleft in my head. So there's always this part, like when you go low enough, there's always a part where hair doesn't grow there. Oh, so that's okay. always been there. That's always been a thing. It looks like it's like maybe like a start to a design in my head, but it's not. So that's <laughs> right. always been there. But like I notice sometimes like if I get a haircut, I'm fine for about a week, maybe. Because like before the pandemic, I was going every two weeks, right? To like keep it oh, wow. whatever. But like um, now, like when it's opened and I could go, then I go, but I don't go like every two weeks now. It's like the last time I went was maybe March, like early March. And then, but I, I think so. But if I, if I start, like, if it gets bad, I'm just going to go bald. Cause I think my head's round enough to do it. So. Yeah. I think I'm in the same boat with you. Cause my dad, yeah. he's, he has like a bald spot. I think kind mm -hmm. of, but I, I'm, I'm, I've already made it like my resolve. If I ever get bald, if I even have like a bald spot, it's yeah. all coming. There's, oh, I'm no. not saving. Yeah, I'm going. I'm just gonna buzz cut it, shave it off every time. Yo, because the, the episode where we both are bald. Is gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't have to be bald to be bald. Let's aim for like a certain number of likes or subscribers. Let's say <laughs> being at like a hundred thousand subscribers. We'll do we'll both we'll shave, our heads. shave our heads. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. We'll well, do it on I'm camera. Good. You'll get the you'll get the I'll shave your head, you shave my you head. Shave my head. <laughs> I don't know if you want my my hands are not steady bro. So if you're if you're it's okay, okay. it's all coming up. It's, it's all coming up. up. Just don't cut my just don't cut my ears. We're good. <laughs> Yo <laughs> I think one time like when um um, one time I cut my dad's hair and like I like when I was a kid he's like okay do it and then I, I think I hit his dinged his ear so I had to stop and then my mom finished <laughs> so I was like, I, he was like we're not doing this anymore <laughs> oh my god have you seen the video where the the barber pranks this kid because the kid pranked oh, him yeah, so he's, he's just bleeding, him. right yeah he like pretends he nicked him and then it's just yeah. blood gushing and the kid is like freaking out <laughs> it's so good but I'd be so bad I'm just like that would scare the the he the see the thing is it was a revenge prank because he had the kid had pranked him earlier so the oh, barber was just getting okay. him back uh, i would be shitting my pants like what is going on bro because i i have been dinged in my like i, I have had it like during a haircut like oh my, really haircut. It, it wasn't like too too bloody but i had to have like a band-aid but like i it's, it's not it's not nice <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> but i think also too like like even if like now like if the barber I thought they would, but like even if they did hit my ear, I think you're more used to it. Like as you get the more haircuts, right? Yeah, it's like a calluses or whatnot, right? So, yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten cut, but if I saw that much of that much blood, I'd be uh, a little bit worried. Like oh, no, my I'm whole ear is gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm squeamish. Like I, I think I got more squeamish. What? More squeamish <laughs> as I got older? Because I remember one time, um, I was opening up some toy with a knife <laughs> really or a gift with a knife and i i still have the scar on my finger and i stabbed through and it started bleeding like crazy and i guess like adrenaline quick kicked in so i didn't start crying so i'm like yeah. mom where's all this blood coming from and then she started screaming <laughs> and went, like i went to school with like this huge band-aid on me and i still have oh, that scar, but like yeah i but i i don't think i was squeamish then but like now like i can't i'm better with it because of game of thrones like for action movies and stuff but still like man yeah, no, I think I'm kind of in the same boat. I've never liked blood, so yeah. whenever I watch, like, Grey's Anatomy with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. or I watch any doctor show, for that matter, and they have, like, a blood scene, I cannot watch it. Like, I'll look away and ask her to tell me when it's... I'll tell her to tell me when it's done, because yeah. I can't do that. It's a... Uh... No, I... That's why I don't watch doctor shows, period. Like, even, like, um... So, like, Hawaii Five-0 was, like, the, the cop show that I was watching when it was still on. And, like, sometimes they'll go to, like, the hospital and stuff to, like, do a surgery on, like, if somebody got shot or something or blah, 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 blah. And those yeah. scenes, I was, I was like, ugh, just get it over with <laughs> and move. 
to like shooting people, I'm fine. But like that stuff, uh, no, I can't do. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another thing that made kind of aged me and made me feel old. Um, I was reading the news the other day, mm-hmm. and it was obviously a pretty bad story. But it was 27 year old arrested for whatever, right? Yeah. And my initial thought was, "Wow, what an old man!" And really? I realized. Yeah. Wait, I'm turning 27. I'm going to be considered a man if I'm in the news. I'm going to be called a man. I'm not going to be a kid or a student or whatever. I'm a man now. I was like, oh, man. I never, really? yeah, I never thought about that. That's true. Yeah. Like, they're going to like, yeah, 26 year Like, if it was like today, 26-year-old man did this. Or 26-year-old man, I'm not even going to say died, but you know what I mean. I was just like, yeah. yeah. I never thought. But they start doing that. I they think don't it's a well, kid for 21 though, right? Or do they no, still they say kid? They say it's adult, man. I don't know. For me, it's whenever I see the news and the age is 25 and up, I always think they're older than me. <laughs> I always feel well, younger not. than them. But then I realize I'm that age too, which is <laughs> kind yeah. of, you know, it's just the way I guess my brain is wired. But mm-hmm. you don't realize if I was in the news, I'd be a man. These guys are the same age as me. This is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is. Cr- yeah, because like we're in like twenty seven. I think but, like twenty six is still okay because uh, I'd still say mid. I think twenty seven still mid too. But like we're in the end game, man. The end game for that thirty. Thirty is not the end, dude. The thirty is not the end. <laughs> like it's over. It's done. So that's it. I'm done. It's over. Thirty's it. It's over. But yeah, and then another something similar to the news. It's kind of like when you're on Facebook and you see someone gets engaged or they're they're having a baby or they they had a baby yeah to me it's like aren't they a little young but i come to realize they're the same age as us and we're 27 or we're this is like normal time typically speaking i think when i was younger i thought around this time i would get married or have a kid or have a family whatever yeah and yeah it's this is basically the average time because when like i think we were talking privately and we were saying our parents had us around our age too. Yeah. So it's, this is the average time. This is, we're not young anymore. We're, this is when families are started. <laughs> right. Cause like, I like when I, that was my whole thing with turning 26. Cause it was just like, this is the age where my parents got married and had me. And I was just like, I'm the farthest thing away <laughs> from getting married or having, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine having a little me right now. Like, could you imagine having a kid? Like, a little you right running now? around to take Honestly, care of Honestly, right I right can. Now. Yeah, because I have so I have friends who have babies, and it just feels so normal with them. So to me, it's like yeah. it's normal because they're the same age as me. Uh, actually, that's the first thing on the BuzzFeed list. So I yeah. think there's like 26 things, or 30, sorry, the 30 yeah. things, obviously. This is also from 2017, so it's a little bit dated. Oh, okay. um, but the first thing is your Facebook feed, whatever, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. let's say it's all the social media feed is filled with baby pictures, wedding pictures, um, massive drunken parties. I don't think people are doing that these days, at least. No. And marathon runners, which if you come to think about it, I started noticing a lot of people are doing marathons, people that I didn't expect or didn't know did marathons. Um, but yeah. Baby pictures and wedding pictures, those are uh, definitely more common. Engagement pictures, whatever, those those included too, I guess. Yeah, no, that's I I couldn't I couldn't see that for me right now. Like that's that's crazy. But yeah, that's one of the things that definitely makes me feel old too, because it's just like, oh shoot, they're my age, they have a kid, or they're married, they're living their life together, they're buying a house and they're living together. That's crazy. That's insane to me. But like I for me, I couldn't see myself doing that. But then also, like, to maybe kind of sidetrack but stay on, I don't see myself, and we talk about this too, I don't see myself having kids, and I think older Dante may change his name, or change his name, change his mind. <laughs> what would Dante's name <laughs> be in the future? <laughs> name, a different name, <laughs> and have kids. So it won't be Dante like now, it'll be some other guy has kids. But yeah, I don't, I don't see it. And I feel like there's a bunch of reasons for it, but like, I don't see myself 
doing that. Like, I think right now, like my dog Latifah is the closest thing that I'll have to a kid. But I don't know if I'll change. But I, I think you were on the opposite end of that. Like, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see myself having a kid. It just yeah. seems normal with all the pictures and everything. And I think yeah. I've always wanted a kid. Yeah. Uh, but right now I have a dog too, which is uh. Right, that's a kid. For, that's, yeah. a, that's a kid. It's basically a kid. That's a lot of work. No, it is. not really. Kids are much more work. Dogs oh, are no. self-sufficient. They're they can live on their own. Like the, you don't have to keep them busy. You don't have to make sure they're not dying. You know. Yeah. Choking well, on their own spit or whatnot. Actually, maybe my dog choked on her own spit one time scared the hell out of me uh, oh, yeah. like does your dog ever do that reverse sneezing thing it's called reverse sneezing where they make this what is weird that like, like latifah does this weird thing i think it's because it's the pug in her with her nose it's where it's like this weird sound she makes but but i've, I've learned now that it's called reverse sneezing and that's how they they she, like she could sneeze normally but this reverse sneezing thing it sounds like she's inhaling but stuck and she has to do it for a little bit and then it stops and she does it like once oh. a month. It's not like an everyday thing. I don't know if I've, maybe if I heard it, uh, I'll, I'll look it up later. And I heard it, maybe <laughs> maybe I'll know. Cause I, I don't know. Yeah. If, I can't like imagine the sounds that uh, they're making right now. Uh, yeah. But there was one time I went back to visit mm-hmm. and she was so excited um, that she went into like by my legs and then she just kind of, toppled over on all fours so like she's kind of her legs stiffened up and she just fell onto her side oh wow and i was like what is going on and then i freaked out so i started giving her like dog cpr just pump like pumping her heart because she yeah. literally I've, I've never seen her stiffen up her legs and just fall yeah. onto her side so i think she was just so excited that her something blocked her airway and so she yeah. wasn't getting the air and then she just fell over, but she's fine. I don't think she's right. ever done that again. But yeah, wow. that uh, that's life of a pug, you know, breathing problems, problems yeah. all that goodness. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's the crazy stuff. Because like Latifah's only half pug, so she half gets it, I guess. But like, yeah, but those breathing problems. Are no, but like, and my pug, her arms, her legs, or whatever, they're long, and mm-hmm. the vet always says, "Oh, that's good," because then they don't have as much problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even then. You know, life of a pug is a life of life of a short nosed dog, hard to yeah. breathe, weird noises, everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. I think them and the French bulldogs and just bulldogs get it too, right? Like they get the weird breathing. Yeah, because they have like the squished nice. nose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I haven't like in our close friend circle. I don't think I've seen a lot of us. Because if I'm just thinking like off the top of my head, I haven't seen any of us get married or have kids and then like some people like um because i moved from scarborough to ajax in yeah. for grade seven so like the those group of friends like back at that old school there were some people that i knew that had kids like younger so like maybe at like 15 60 so like oh that was young and it was just like oh you already have a kid now so like they're growing up with you and everything as well too but now it's yeah. just like hey we're we're like full adult now yeah hey go have a kid <laughs> go <laughs> go but like i think i think it'd still be okay to have a kid like 30s if i change my mind i think that's yeah, not yeah. A weird thing i, like I think that's good that's still a good time i was just for me it was when i see someone having a kid i still think we're like 20 early 20s so yeah. i always think wow they're so young they're having a kid but it's they're not young they're no they're, yeah <laughs> they're almost 30. Yeah. Age. They're and they're having a kid oh my gosh what about the the marriage thing too because like that stuff engagements and stuff i i don't i don't know if i see that but then um just a quick aside my parents are separate so like i think that convolutes my thing on yeah. it. so i think that's why i have a different take on it and everything not that i don't think it's a beautiful thing and i don't think people should do it or i'm fully against it and everything there but like just for me i don't i don't know i don't know and i also like because like the more like you you listen to stuff you learn stuff like what marriage was originally for was like a business negotiation and deal and yeah. now it's more so for like the love stuff and everything there even though that doesn't always work out <laughs> but like <laughs> yeah but like i don't know if i like i don't know if i'm i think my thinking is like i don't know if i have to say 
hate to the government. I'm in love with this person. I'm marrying them. Because you could have like the comp. What is it? The common uh, law? Yeah, common law. So it's, somebody. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could even. Uh, yeah, you could do that if you don't want to do all the marriage stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I had. I'm kind of traditional, I guess. So, like, I yeah. do want to. I want to get married and I want to have a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're different in that sense. Yeah. Uh, it's just when I don't really know when. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't feel like like it should be like a rush on it though. Too, and I'm not saying that people that are having them now it's like a rush thing, but I don't think it's bad because I think it's like sometimes society puts pressures on it too, right? It's like, oh, you're yeah. not married by now, or you're not having the kid by now, blah 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 blah, blah or you're having it too old or whatever. Um, but like, I don't think there's like a pressure. I think like, I feel like there's a there's been a a shift lately. Yeah. Uh, with the millennials growing up, um, yeah. there's been a lot of. I don't feel like there's any more pressure. Like people are kind of downplaying that pressure. Like, yeah, um, I've seen a lot of posts where people are saying, "You don't need to buy a house now. There's no rush. Someone might have right. a house before you, yeah. but there's no rush for you. You do it when you're ready." You yeah. don't have to get married now. You don't have kids. You don't have to have kids. Just do it when you're ready, when you're capable. Um, so, yeah, I feel like recently there's been kind of a shift. I don't know. In my eyes, I've always been kind of supportive of that. Like, do things on your own time. On time, yeah. Uh, there is no race. It's Life is a li- life is just a marathon. You know, you want to do things when you want to do things. So, yeah. my right. Yeah. Yeah. With a quick thing with that too, because I think um, one of the things that, and it's something that I'm trying to work on too, because with social media, right? If you're like following a bunch of influencers and famous people and everything, because social media is like a snapshot, snapshot of like good times, right? Because not yeah. all the time, there's some there's some accounts that do it, but not all the time um, people are showing like the hardships. So they're just showing the good times. So then like sometimes if you're sitting there comparing yourself to it, and it's just like, oh, hey, this person's the same age as me and they're doing this, this, and this. Why am I not doing this, this, and this? And then sometimes I feel like that's something that I still struggle with. So like, well, that's part of the aging thing too, right? Like, you shouldn't feel like you're in competition. So like, just like we're saying, to, to feel like doing it at your own time, there's no rush, but it's still something that I'm working on to like try to get better with it. Because it's, it's still something that's in the back of my head. I think I'm better with it now. Like before it was something that was more in my mind, but like, it's it's it shouldn't be a competition. Like, your what works for them doesn't work for you and vice versa and blah 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah right? yeah there's yeah. there's really no rush and I, I think that's one of the leading causes for mental illness in this day and yeah. age social media yeah. is just i mean what can you do everything there's just so much information it's what what they call information overload you just see right. everything uh, but you only see the good side of things because who's yeah. gonna post the bad side the the rough parts of life yeah, they only the want to share the it, part. Yeah, yeah, or the work that it take it takes to get there, because like nobody's really showing the, hey, I had like sleepless nights, blah 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 blah, to get where I am now. Sometimes other people too are just like lucky or born into like a rich family or something. That there's that too, and that's you can't compete with that, right? Because it's you're, yeah, you're, they have the higher starting point, right? Too, but like, yeah, that's that's the that's the yeah. Case. But I I feel like those who kind of have that drive, the work, they yeah, they almost have like a right to post what they what they're happy for because they worked for it they deserve it right so yeah but i think it's on the user to realize that you know you're not gonna hit that overnight if you don't have the same kind of dedication so right yeah it's and i think that's that's i like to always think i'm still pretty young even though Mm -hmm. we're almost 30 because i think gary v said it the best where it was you can do nothing for a year yeah. and next year you you wouldn't be that far from where you were a year ago because you just have so much time. As long as you spend, if you quit your job today and you wanted to look for another job in a year, as long as the year that you spent away from your job was to develop your own passions, right. um, you're not really far away. You, you have so much time. There's still, assuming we all live to 80, there's, we still yeah. have more than half our lives yeah kind of get through it but yeah i don't know he said it in something like that i don't really <laughs> remember no how. that was really that was really good i know i always like i i don't know why i follow him because i like that guy a lot like just the 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 
tidbits is that the word i'm thinking of the yeah he does like shorts stuff. and stuff yeah, yeah. so like, um, yeah he's a really good positive person i like that guy I like that yeah guy. Yeah, yeah all right so i'm gonna go through this list yeah so we already got the, the first one the second one is when was the last time you got id actually you don't go to bars or like clubs or get alcohol do you no, because I, I don't drink. So I've, I I did get ID'd. Um, was it a... Uh, what was that movie with Selena Gomez and Vanessa Hudgens and um, Spring no. Breakers? Okay. Spring Breakers. They ID'd you to watch a movie? <laughs> yeah, because it was rated R. So you had to... like They were checking to see if people were 18. Really? That was, yeah, that was a... That came out... I must have been either first year... Yeah, first year university, because I would have been 18 in September of starting uh, first year. Um, so it, it came out like in the second half of first year. And that's the only time I think I've been ID'd. Um, is like to go okay. see Spring Breakers. <laughs> Not for alcohol, but to go see Spring Breakers. But wow, we- really? Yeah. I don't remember the last time because I generally look older because yeah. I'm taller and I'm a bigger dude. Yeah. Um, but so number two on the list is few things excite you more than getting asked for your ID. And I feel like that's, so I think if I were to go to LCBO um, mm-hmm. to buy alcohol with my girlfriend and one of us gets ID'd, we get jealous of the other person, of the person getting ID'd because it's like, oh, why didn't they ask me? Like, I, I, don't I look young? <laughs> <laughs> don't I look young? Don't you want to ask me? I'm still, I'm still young. <laughs> ask me, ask me, do me. And I think she's the one who gets ID'd more because she's a shorter girl and she's also mm. Asian. So, she, you know, Asians don't really age until yeah. like 60. So for me, it's like, well, how come you get ID'd? I, I look young too. So sometimes I'll just give them <laughs> my ID. Me, <laughs> oh, like, but I did. No, take it, look at it. He's like, you're good. No, take it, look at it. <laughs> I was actually watching a TikTok and yeah. there's, Okay, TikTok is honestly not for millennials. I don't really know what's happening half the time on that app. But this one hit hard because uh, they were reenacting getting ID'd, right? Yeah. So the, the person was asking the uh, the per- other person for an ID. Mm-hmm. And uh, the one reviewing the ID looked at it very quickly and gave it back. And so the guy was like, oh... Oh, you looked at it really quickly. Uh, don't you want to take a like a longer look and inspection? And the guy says, "No, uh, the year starts with w- uh, one nine, so I already know." And after that, I was like, "Oh, n- oh my gosh!" Yo, that hit me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> so you can just tell nine. now. They just tell. They're like, "Oh, one nine. Okay, good." Oh, that's so true. Cause like. I was, oh, that, yeah. oh, wow, that, yeah, because like, that makes you feel really old, because you're like, wow, you don't yeah, even need like, to look, you just need to glance at it so quickly, <laughs> just, oh, that's good, <laughs> yeah, because like, the kids that I, like, they feel so foreign to me, the kids that are born in 2000, they're 21 this year, yeah, right? honestly, to me, they'll always be like a 12 year old or something like that because yeah because like, like the, the the words being hey i was born in 2000 i was like what <laughs> you were what <laughs> you're not a kid right now like what <laughs> but that tick tiktok is the thing that where i just i don't get it i don't understand it there's certain things like obviously like um like where the humor feels kind of similar to vine then i'm like oh, okay i'm, I'm kind of getting it but there's certain things like certain jokes go over me i'm like i don't get it I don't get like we've talked about it before, but like I don't get the dance challenging stuff. I don't yeah. get it. I'm like I just it's not for me. So like I don't I don't have it downloaded on my phone. I just it's like um, filtered. Oh, I keep like, downloading. Oh, I keep TikTok downloaded so I can stay hip with the young. You know, I want to yeah. learn all the lingo. You know, no <laughs> cap. <the> <laughs> Is that what the kids are doing? You know, <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dancing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. no, I'm like, I'm like, see, then I guess that's the part where I guess I'm okay with getting old because I'm like, I don't have to, I don't have to. Yeah, I'm trying to be like, going. be like Steve Buscemi in that one uh, meme where he's at high school and he's got that skateboard and whatnot. <laughs> What's uh, that from? 
I don't know what it's from, but I just see the meme all the time, and I that's who I am, man. I'm just that's trying to are. I'm just trying to stay relevant at this point, man. Because I, <laughs> I think if there was around people that are like, I guess like uh, the two thousand people, for example, I think I would then try to you know say some words that I don't usually say. That's in my normal lingo, like cap or blah 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 blah. blah. Like that's cap or oh, I feel I look at me saying that. I feel like an old man, bro. I'm just like that's yeah. Cap or yeah i know what you mean i say it to really i want to know what they're saying and then i want yeah. to also just annoy them because i like using lingo that's i like to overuse um lingo and phrases so just to really get on people's nerves right so see that's i feel like that's an older person thing because it's just like hey like, i'm gonna use it into the ground <laughs> you know? but i think also too like some of the words come back because i think like um i remember people saying like even though this is a dated one now like swag was a term from way back when and it kind yeah. of like, like made its way back. So I think sometimes with like context clues, I understand the kids. And then other times, like, I think like um in like a group chat, one of our friends said zooted and I was like, what? I'm sorry. What the <laughs> heck is that? What's oh, see, you don't know it either. Okay, I'm not alone. <laughs> so zooted is, uh, what was it again? I think it's like um, where you're drunk or high. It's one of the, one of the two. Like, I'm so zooted right now. I'm so, uh, let me use it in a sentence, like Urban Dictionary. I had a drink or a drink or two and I got zooted. That was not, I, oof, I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, I, that's I, guess I'm sure, a, but... <laughs> I guess I'm a boomer now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, boomer, that's it. <laughs> You're zooted. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Well, I've never heard of Zooted in my life. That's what I'm saying. I was just like, what is that? I don't know these terms. Like, there's too many. I don't get it. Yeah. Anymore. I know, like, no cap and stuff, but... Yeah, uh, I, know I know that. I know that. All right, I'm, I'm skipping that. through this list. I'm going to yeah. just see some things. Okay, when you rewatch movies and shows you grew up with and you identify with the parents, that one's more than the kids some i'll even watch current shows with my girlfriend and i'll side yeah. with the parents because i think the kids are little shits first of all making oh, 100%. some like oh my gosh what are you 100%. thinking like, I, I'm, yeah, I think like, i've thought like that for a while though <laughs> well i think so too like um even when i was younger i think i would always be comfortable talking with adults like in those conversations like yeah. rather than like at functions like i'd be okay with the adults but like now i see what you mean because like i recently watched actually well because i'm not a single dad though so i guess i don't relate to the, the dad from smart guy <laughs> as much but i could see his way on certain things though like when he's yeah. disciplining the kids or stuff then i could understand it more like more times you'd be like with tj or whatever or marcus like hey why won't he let me do that but he could see why you shouldn't do this this or this yeah. So, yeah, I guess I do relate to the older person all the time. Yeah, I always I think I've always related with the older person because first of all, I hate stupid decisions and kids mm. half the time make the stupidest decisions. So it's like, yeah. why did you do that? You could have gone about it on a whole different way. Yeah. Who knows? Uh but yeah, I th I've always thought like that. So I've been old for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're getting to. We've been old for a while. <laughs> We've been right. whipper snappers. <laughs> I think this next one is a big one. Okay. okay. Today's radio hits are totally unfamiliar to you. So this this thing is super outdated because they have the chain smokers as the picture and the who? Ch the chain smokers. Maybe they're just uh, not my I think I've heard the It's like EDM actually. more, but oh, okay. today's okay. music. I mean Justin Bieber's back on the top hits. So Yeah. You know, he was a big part of our growing up so our yeah, life's growing up so <laughs> so he, if he's coming back i'll listen to his music again he also i i like his music i'll say it now i'm a believer okay you're a believer i'm also you're a, a one directioner believer. yeah man i'm a one directioner i i i don't think i'm a believer but i will say he has songs that are fire for me i didn't listen to this new album because have you seen that um that joke that um did you watch atlanta no, I I wanted to. I watched the first season, but I I can't find it uh, anywhere anymore. So it's hard for me to get access to it. Yeah, FX because you have to like for FX you have to have like either buy it separately. Like I think you could have buy it like as soon as buy like a, an account online or like because of like um with my cable package we have it. 
So that's how I'm like, that's how I was watching Sunny. Yeah. And then Atlanta, I want to go back and rewatch, but like rewatch that show or watch that show if like you find a way to watch it because that show was jokes, but they <laughs> they did a joke where they made uh, Justin Bieber black. <laughs> And so Justin Bieber was black, and he's like, "Hey, I'm coming back." He's like, "I'm not that bad, guys." Blah 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 blah. And I'm gonna come out with my new album called Justice. And what's Justice Bieber's new album called? Justice. Oh no <laughs> way! It's... It was like years ago too. Now it was like years Justice ago. Justice Bieber, man. Justice <laughs> Bieber. But he, I will say that um, that Peaches song with uh, Daniel Caesar and is it Give On? Give On, yeah, oh, yeah. Give I like I like that song a lot, and I haven't yeah. I, I haven't I've maybe heard one other song that I didn't like too much. But um, he has this Christmas song. This is just me going off on of Bieber, like a tangent on Bieber's music. But he has this Christmas song that I really like with Boys to Men. His best song, he'll never beat it. It's I don't think I've heard that one. All right, I'll have to listen to that. I know his one with um, Usher. Oh my god, the Christmas song? No, 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 the Christmas song I'm talking about. Oh, I've only it's heard literally it. called the Christmas song. Yeah, I've oh, only heard that oh. one song with the chestnuts roasting on a. Oh, that that song. that one, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, today's music. There's what Justin Bieber, Dua there's, Lipa, the baby, yes, the baby. Lil Nas I X, I think, is another one X. that he's caused a lot of uh, controversy recently. That's a whole different topic. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's people like that. But there's a bunch of like these because like I listen to predominantly hip hop and R and B, and I find as I get older, I like R and B more. So I like right. the love songs more. Or, oh, like, I love R and B, man. But I I only go listen to like okay, I listen to the weekend. But if it's like two thousands R and B, R and B though. Yeah, he's kind of pop, but I know some of his stuff. Oh no, I guess they were all pop, but yeah. some of the older R and Bs, um, and that's that's just hits different. No, it does. <laughs> no, you can't like '90s to early 2000s R and B. You can't beat. But I will say though, now like there was a point where maybe like five years back where R and B was in a shaky place because they were just trying to sound like rappers. But I think right now, because there's a lot of people out there now. Where I think it's in a really great place. Maybe not as good, but I, I think everybody will always compare it to that. But like right now, I think there's a lot of good. Yeah. Um, so would you consider Daniel Caesar R and B? Yeah. Because I know some. Oh, his music is amazing, and I I don't listen to it like it's not my go to. Yeah. Um, but a few years ago, I I did listen to some of his his stuff, and they're just so good. Um, yeah. Yeah. R and B is amazing, man. But R and B is dope. But like, what? So what was saying with that? Like. There's a bunch of hip hop artists now. I have no idea who they are, and I yeah. maybe I've heard a song, maybe maybe off of like a TikTok video or something. But I have no, but I can't stand like the the mumble rap stuff and and stuff like that. I there's a I lot like, of Spanish stuff out right now, and I uh, like Spanish music. <clears throat> Spanish music is dope. I like uh, really. Like, uh, I'm I'm not against it, but I just don't like listening to it because I like to sing along. <laughs> um, if it's like a singing song, so it's hard for me to sing along. Uh, if I don't know the language, that's why I don't like K-pop too, because I just, yeah. it's, it's, I respect it. I just can't sing along. So I will not listen to it For me, um, with Spanish, just because, it's, yeah. Yeah. For me with Spanish, it's like, I just like the vibes. And then some songs, yeah. like there's this song, uh, it's Becky G and I forget the other girl's name. Forgive me for forgetting her name, but uh, it's called Sin, 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 whatever the other word is. But I <laughs> will sing. I can't sing it right now. I have to hear the song. But I love that song so much. It is, it's come up like it, I think it's like three years old now. But I love that song so much. Like there's certain songs like, even though like I'll start to pick up on the Spanish stuff, so I'll start to sing along. With, if I listen to it enough, I could start to pick up with it. But like that stuff, I, I I like. Like I'm not heavy heavy into it, but I like it. But like I don't know like a bunch of these 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 new guys. Like I've I've never listened to well not intentionally listened to Takashi. Six nine. I don't know. I don't think I know a single song from him. Yeah. Like, you know what song I've been listening to recently that's new? Yeah. It's uh Leave the Door Open with uh Silk Sonic and I forget the other guy's name, but uh so Anderson and then Bruno Mars. And Bruno Mars. Anderson Pack, there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That that as soon as I saw that they were like they they announced that they were doing a thing together, I was just like, that this is gonna be it, bro. And then when I heard um, leave the door open. Album of the year for me. I know it's gonna be album for the year. I haven't even heard the whole album. Album of the year for me. 
Cause like that, I love that. I love, I was about to swear. I love <laughs> when they do like um, old school sounding music. Yeah, it sounded like so it nostalgic yeah. for me. Like yes. for me, it sounded like yeah. old school Bruno Mars back when we were in high school. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and then I, when I realized it wasn't even Bruno Mars singing like the main parts, yeah. I was like, whoa, this is. And then I started looking up Anderson Pack and just seeing what kind of music he's used to make. Yeah. Um, but didn't listen too long to it because I was just really. I was like, I kind of want to just listen to it and leave the door open. <laughs> like over and, <laughs> so over, just, and over again. Yeah. <laughs> if like for Anderson Pack, a recommend uh, the recommendation from him for him is a uh, Ventura. That didn't come out too long ago. That album okay. was really, really dope. And then another one from him is uh, Malibu. That one's really dope. So like, it's kind of up that alley of Silk Sonic where it's like okay. old school sounding. Like that stuff is, I love that yeah. stuff. But, but then it's just like, it's not really like, it is new music because obviously it's a different song and everything. But I think it's just like the nostalgia plays more of a part where I'd yeah. rather hear this than anything else. It right? just sounds like it's, it would have come out in 2012 or 2015 for me. Cause like, to me, that's nostalgia. Like that's, I don't listen to anyone from 2015. My music ranges between 2009 to 2012, okay. early somewhere. I, I would say 2000 to 2012. And then I have some 1980s uh, classic rock and just random singing songs, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know today's music. I realized that I have to give music a chance. Um, yeah. There was a per- point in my life where I just stopped listening to music because I, I hated everything, mm-hmm. um, how everything sounded, but that kind of made me outdated because I didn't know what people were talking about or I didn't, I didn't feel relevant or I didn't feel like I was uh, a part because people would be talking about music or saying like, this sounds good. Um, but I would always be like, I don't like music. So I feel as I have to start giving it a chance. Um, so I, what I do now is I just go to Spotify and I play the top hits. Oh, even gosh. if I hate it, I just play top hits. Even if I hate it, I'll just let it play and just literally put myself through it. Because I know my taste with music, it's there's some songs, if I listen to it first time, I know it's amazing. Like, leave the door yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. The first time I listen to it, I was like, amazing. oh my gosh, this yeah. is amazing. This This is a... For me, there's a top 10 hit. It's going straight to one of my playlists. Uh, but I know there are some songs where it took like 20 listens and I was like driving in my car and then it came on, but I didn't know it was on. I'm like, yeah. oh, what's this song? It's a banger. And then I look at it, I'm like, oh, I didn't like this song at first. <laughs> this is the one I always skip. Because like, there's that meme, right? Like the, the ones that you always skip sometimes are fire. Like they're, they're crazy. Yeah. So like for me, I'm the same way. Like, or maybe just a little bit different. Like, me in the first 30 seconds um i unless there's like a change up later on in the song i know i'm gonna like it or not so i'll know like if i'm listening to somebody's album because like i'll still listen to new music but it's from artists that i already know are established right or like, yeah yeah or if i heard them on somebody i know and i'm like okay let me listen to this but like most of my music stuff now that i've gotten is from like the the sleeper picks on like the joe budden podcast so like their, okay. their their picks and stuff. That's where I like most of my new music, taste or new music stuff that I know like comes from. Um, if I'm picking up a new artist, basically, but um, yeah, like I like my music range. I would say it's like all the way maybe to like '60s, to like old school stuff, to like old school like the uh, funk, soul, R&B till now. So I'll have like all over the place, and then like I'm predominantly hip hop and R&B. But like I'll go like what and then whatever sounds good basically besides that so right. like pop music too that sounds good to me or rock that sounds good to me or whatever. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm for me it's any song I can any song I can sing to that's that's it. So that's why I like classic rock. They're not too fast, but yeah, they're still singing. So like I like a lot of the Michael Jackson stuff. Oh yeah. Um, and then so I don't think I would have know would have known about leave the door open if I didn't see that Bruno Mars had released a new song. So like you said, a lot of the songs I'll listen to and I'll like are from artists that I already know. Right. And it's just new because they released it this year or exactly. Recently. exactly. So yeah. yeah, it's, but today's radios is, it's just TikTok music is what I call them um, because they're mainly from TikTok. Like I, yeah. I wouldn't know it unless it's not. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, like TikTok is driving streams and stuff. Like TikTok's basically the new radio when you think about it, right? Like, cause it's just like, yeah. they drive streams and like artists are like, hey, I want you to do a dance challenge to this song. So then it gets plays and streams and everything. Cause that's basically what every artist is trying to do. But I feel like, cause like really and truly, I, I, I never listen to the radio. I'm just plugging in my phone and then like whatever, mm. like, the, the playlist that I have, like the music, I still download music, so I won't stream. So I'll still like down, like with Apple music, I'll go to download it on my phone. So like music takes up like 40, almost 50. Oh gosh. Of my phone and everything. But like, um, and I don't even like listen to all of it, but I just have like a bunch of stuff. Like maybe I'll want to listen to this today, but. But so, yeah. so how do you find new music then? Because when I do that, um, yeah. I'll always go to a playlist that I've already generated. And so mm. I'll, and I, probably won't add new songs to it um so then like i'll never discover a new song a top song so the only way i'll ever discover it um was through the radio and now i just play top hits yeah. or watch tiktok because it's literally the exact same thing yeah uh, so yeah how would like, you find new music like um so it's, it's like it's like from the 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 sleeper picks from the joe button podcast and then like just if i follow the artist then like um like on social media or whatever they'll right. usually announce or sometimes they'll like um not even like artists or something like um Issa Rae like do you know the show Insecure on HBO no have you ever heard of it okay so Issa Rae she had this um a series on YouTube first that I've never actually wanted I want to go back and watch but um it was called Awkward Black Girl and then she has this show on uh, HBO that's actually going into its last season called Insecure it's really dope but. Her ear, I find, is really good. Like, I like her ear as well, too. So, like, on show, she'll, like, because um, she'll, like, have music playing for, like, certain scenes. So, sometimes I'll just, like, oh, what's that? And I'll shazam it. And then sometimes, like, she'll post music to her story. So, like, just, like, even, like, some somebody just posting something on social media, that would be the other way that i do it. So, like, either the sleeper picks or um, social media. And I just find it that way. Okay. But I never actually use, like, I know um, Apple Music has that top whatever thing, too, but I n I've never used oh. it. Like, I never use it for any music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, music is a, I think that's one way, if you don't stay, if you don't listen to the top hits or whatever, it's a, uh, it's how you age yourself. It is how you age yourself, but, like, also, too, like, I don't think I'm going to be around the person where that music Cause it, it it can be like for I like for people our age like some of the music that's out now like I'm 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 more specifically thinking about like the hip hop part of it because like right. I think hip hop's in like like hip hop's the the biggest music genre now right and there's yeah. so many different sub genres of it which is like a beautiful thing right from like where it started to where it is now but like I don't I wouldn't say that I need like boom bap or the lyrical spiritual miracle people like that who are always telling a story or like rhyming yeah. properly or having rhyming schemes like i don't always sometimes i just like where like there's a crazy beat and the person's just talking garbage and i'm fine it's just like the beat's crazy and i love it but like i think like music's so subjective too for me at least i don't feel like i don't i don't for me i don't feel like i have to listen to all that new stuff i could just like my i think my ear is so different like with all the different genres i listen to like it's you'll find something there and then i'll find something from somebody else mm. or, you know what i mean yeah 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 oh oh i realized why i wanted to start listening to top hits yeah because whenever you i'm at a party or at a club and they play mm. so if they're playing something current i'll have no yeah. idea what it is but i'll see my <laughs> friends going crazy and they're like oh yeah. it's a good song but if they're playing something like black eyed peas or something i'm i'm there i'm i'm like all right i know this one this one is and i know all the song the the words and i'm gonna be going nuts and i'm gonna go crazy yeah. with this one but then they it's like i realized that oh i should probably keep up with top hits because then i can react properly um yeah but yeah so i think the last one that i want to kind of bring up and it kind of there's two actually that kind of tied together on this okay. list so we kind of skipped through almost like 27 of them. You know, that's fine. Um, so when you have to pull an all-nighter, when was the last time you actually pulled an all-nighter? It was... Or, in... or you know what? Yeah. I don't think I've actually pulled an all-nighter for reals. Uh, when was the last... How... What's the latest you've ever stayed up? If you did pull an all-nighter, yeah. Then... No, I've, I've pulled an all-nighter in 
uni because for whatever reason with me i found the last like as the years went on i just started procrastinating way more so i would have to pull all-nighters to do like yeah. there was one time where i had i think it may have been like two essays and a project to do all in one night just because I, oh I like i started a bit and I, I was just procrastinating so i had to like and i think i've done it maybe three times but it was not since university not since, okay so not since wait like what's the latest you've stayed up not doing like work or uh school work just just because you wanted to stay up late four. playing games four okay yeah <laughs> i'm guessing that wasn't recently because i think the latest i've stayed up was to like 6 a.m and Ooh. oh yeah i was playing a game with my cousins yeah uh it was payday too and we were trying to beat a mission yeah so we were pretty uh we were pretty dedicated because we said we're not we're not logging off until we beat this mission and we failed like 30 times um yeah. so we just kept playing till 6 a.m but i didn't show signs of like tiredness i wasn't tired mm -hmm. or anything i just wanted to keep going until we beat it right uh but the thing is i don't that was like six seven years ago back when i was in university and yeah if i if someone told me to stay up till 6 a.m again today tonight let's say i wouldn't be able to do it i don't even know how i stay up past like two o'clock I, just... I i i think like I, I i pretty much like if i'm just like on the weekends i think i could do till because like my shifts are like later in the day so yeah. that shift is kind of okay for me so I could still do, but the next day I'm not good though. That's the thing. Like it takes a toll on me. Like I can't do it and then be good to go, especially yeah. if I'm, if I'm just like off five hours or something, like I need a full eight hours. And even then I feel, still feel the effects of it. Like it's not a yeah. easy thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I remember I could, st I used to be able to just stay up, watch anime and then yeah, I'll be like, oh, it's four o'clock. I have class in like three hours, get some sleep and then go to class. And I just don't know how i did it or how anyone could do that that's just absurd to me because it's it's insane it's, yeah I like these days though, yeah <laughs> these days i, like I need sleep. to keep, like get eight hours and if it's at minimum six hours you know it's and then i'll be good i'll, I'll yeah. survive if it's six hours but anything less than that i don't know just, i don't know how people stay up late anymore it's just <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I think i'm consistently getting seven hours i think i think it's i think it's six or seven i don't think i'm ever getting eight but i think it's consistently six or seven yeah mine is like yeah. seven to eight usually yeah but the last one which kind of ties in it's you have to be in bed at a certain time uh i guess it for you because your schedule is a little bit uh, different yes yeah. So you, I mean, you're so right now. It says you have to be in bed by 11 p.m. every night. Um, for you, I guess you just shifted a few hours, but like, there's a specific time that you have to be in bed. No, no, no. Um, there is, there is. No, no, it's like, <laughs> no, no, no. That's very true. Like mine has actually just shifted an hour though. It's not um like really because I'm 12 to eight. So I, I the. I'm very routine in the week with work. So like, I have to like, it's like, we're a certain time, like maybe I'll like, there'll be like a little bit of leeway, but it's, I think it's like 12, 12 where I'm Okay. Yeah, me it's, too. Like, Mine has to be, there, like, has to be 12, at latest is 12. I can't like, it shouldn't be any <laughs> later than that. <laughs> like I may still be up a little bit, but I'm like, I'm in there, like in the bed. Yeah. You're like settling down and everything. Yeah. 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 You gotta wind down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 12 o'clock is like when you start to wind down and just you know yeah. if i fall asleep at 12 that's great if i don't at least i'm already there and i just have to focus on trying to fall asleep you know yeah yeah, yeah so that's i think that's the last one because the other ones are like if you're a sunscreen person you know how you don't know how to do technology or like technology is confusing to you but i think sunscreen person yeah apparently there's one one of the things where you use sunscreen like religiously to protect I, yourself against burns and i don't think i don't have to <laughs> I find it, it's very rare that i'm using i, I we're, i'm still supposed to but like I'm yeah like, but i don't well, care to be honest uh and then there's one which i didn't think really applied to us was like i said uh, technology is confusing us but i think 
as millennials, we 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 were exposed to technology and yeah. we're still being exposed to technology. So newer yeah. stuff don't really phase us too much. Like there's still like there's still stuff I'll, like I I I I think I'm kind of technological illiterate. So the stuff I know I know, but like I don't think I'm the best with it. But I don't think it's scary to me. Let's say yeah, like you wouldn't have to yeah. ask someone younger to show you how this works. No. So like. Like if you had a problem, you knew how you would know how to fix it. And that's, that's the thing. Pretty much. Or I would go to like my brother or my dad. Cause they're better. <laughs> 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 if it's something that I don't know. Cause like, yeah, I, some things I have to, but other things I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I don't think we're, thing. we're at that age where we're technically illiterate. So, but we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't know, man. I, with the way we live our lives with, like, cause, okay. So the way I see it is we game mm-hmm. and I don't think we're going to stop gaming for a long time. So no. if we continuously game, we're going to yeah. have new technology to deal with. So True. obviously next gen and then next gen, right. um, we are always going to use our phone. And unless there's like a drastic change, like when I, when Apple came up with the touchscreen phones, yeah. Um, even then we're still exposed to current day technology that yeah adapting to it everyone would have troubles adapting to a new technology we would just kind of be with that curve we might not pick it up as fast but we'll um, get it yeah yeah we'll get it i don't think we're ever going to be really technic technically illiterate we're we might not know as much we might want we might know just enough to get by yeah but for me i'm always going to have a computer i'm always going to be doing That's some true. random yeah. randomness with my computer trying to fix something trying to make things better so for me i don't think i'll ever be um technically illiterate and i am the go-to person so, oh, so i, I have to <laughs> yeah i kind of have to know what's what to do and how to fix things mm-hmm. uh, but yeah in terms of gaming how do you feel about gaming and now and like uh in the future because the way where I see going? gaming, not really where it's going. It's just, do you feel old as a gamer? Because gaming is, uh, to me, you know, they're always saying, why are you playing games? This is for kids. Yeah. Uh, similar to cartoons. Why are you watching cartoons? Right. This is for right. kids. Okay. So, you know, okay. But obviously, there's been a huge shift recently. Cartoons, not so much because people will still question you. Why are you watching cartoons? Why are you yeah. watching anime? Those are for kids. But where gaming has become a career gaming has become uh for everyone for adults yeah, for kids yeah. it's there's no age anymore barrier there's no you, you you don't go to an age and you stop gaming that's it you're not allowed anymore yeah. you know so I've... oh no sorry how do you feel about... yeah no i was just gonna ask you like how do you feel like do you feel like you're old too old to game um yeah i think it actually changed like when i was younger i think there were i thought there was a point where i would stop and then now i don't feel like there was but the other thing is like the reason that i do it is because my dad was like a gamer so like or and it still is like he's still like maybe not as much but like i that's why i'll never feel like i'm too old for it because like i'm planning to do this until i die bro <laughs> like, it's fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's fun like why would i I don't, I don't think I feel, I, I think I used to, but I don't, I don't like, I think that's gone. But I think yeah. that's a good thing with age that I, the, the less thing caring about the other thoughts on that thing, right? Like, uh, caring that, oh, you're too old for it. Well, no, I'm not. Good game. You know? Yeah. I might yeah, not no. be as good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's about it. There, there's some gamers that I watch on Twitch, uh, mm. that are older, like they're still a little bit older than us or around the same age. Uh, and there's they're pros, so they're yeah. they're the ones giving me hope <laughs> that I can <laughs> that I'm I can still reach a level like theirs. Obviously, you know I'm me, not. I, <laughs> I was never good at first person shooters at all. Like I will have my days, but like I was never that good at first person shooters. So nothing's changed. <laughs> like I still have the same skill level. <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. know. I I think gaming is. I was kind of thinking of the same way you were at yeah. a certain point. I thought I would stop because, yeah. and even after university, I thought like, you know, that's it. We're not going to, I'm not going to play games anymore. 
my friends are going to be busy. I'm going to be busy with work. The schedule is just not going to align. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It seems like we're make, I'm making it work. I have time to play. I have, you know, I finish my duties at work and then I still allocate time to, you know, my, my like diet and all that stuff. And then yeah. I have some time afterwards to just play some games. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be, this is going to end anytime soon. I hope at least. No. Uh, no and know. it's become more normal that yeah, people just play games. You know, they, it's, I see a lot of TikToks where people are complaining, like, um, I can't, I'm playing games and, you know, you're taking care of kids and all that stuff, like just their whole life balance. Um, yeah. So I think, I think we're, this is a, thing that's going to hopefully last a long time well yeah and, yeah no for sure i think i think we'll be gaming till till the end yeah. <laughs> all the way <Yeah>. through 30 <laughs> yeah we'll and see well, you know what in another 10 years we'll we'll, we'll do back. this again and we'll change it to the 40s <laughs> the 40s <laughs> every every 10 years we'll do another one years. and then the uh, 50s you know <laughs> yo the, i can't wait for the 60s and the <laughs> 70s <laughs> no, we might have to do five year increments after that right? <laughs> 45s <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah i think i think that's really all we have to go off on about being old yeah. you know being just old. You know, this this whole discussion is kind of a downer. You realize, right? like, you know, we were just like, hey, we're cool. <laughs> it's old. kind of a downer. There's a lot of things that we can't do anymore. Like, yeah. we're not as good as games. But then there's a lot of things that we can do. You know, we can buy right? alcohol. We can rent a car, which is leave great. Whenever, <laughs> like, have a car and leave whenever, you, like, before you had to, like, have someone take you somewhere. And now we yeah. can like, just go. That or like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's just a lot of freedom, but there's just a lot of things that as our body gets older. Yeah. And I think I was saying this in the beginning. Mentally, I want to stay young. I'm, I mm. want to think I, I am young. Right. Because I, the way I, you know, I think of gaming keeps me young, keeps me, it keeps my imagination um, going. going. Uh, watching TV, you know, seeing all this other stuff, like kind of getting a different experience. I want to think that i'm young um but, but my physical aspect you know my knees are buckling when i bend down <laughs> my arms are giving out actually sometimes my knees just i don't know if it's just my knee uh sometimes i'll just be standing or i'll walk mm. and i can feel that my knee just gives out and it comes back i'm like oh i could have fallen there <laughs> what? I don't think, well, I just fell down the stairs. So what am I saying? I'm laughing like it's not happening to me. I just fell down the stairs. <laughs> I think that's why these did the same thing. Maybe I'm like, I'm like, what, wait, what is that feeling? Because I was like, I was trying to think, what's that feeling? I'm like, maybe I just had it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, our bodies are degrading, sure. but I want to okay. hopefully keep my mind uh, younger for as long yeah. as I possibly can, you know? Because I think, some of the elderly people they'll say you know your body's going but if you can stay a kid at heart yeah in your mind then you're always going to be a kid no matter what like no, you can enjoy true. playing with knickknacks that kids love you're still a kid right you still yeah. get to enjoy the things little things of life so yeah yeah you, you think young yes you, you stay young <laughs> <laughs> Start doing that, like yeah let me think young because i think that like the the mental could also affect the physical too right so if you're sitting in there going hey i'm old i'm done then your body will be like i don't know man no, i mean try? you can try but obviously you can't do everything i can't you're gonna hear it. cracking when you bend down and you try to hide <laughs> going to a squat yeah you still experience the pains of a growing yeah. body yeah it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I think that's all the time we have for today. Yeah. That's been uh, another episode of On the Ledge with Dante and Ricky. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, 
and tune in next week or in our next episode. Yes. Uh, I don't think we have a topic to s- right yet. now. <laughs> tune uh, in to our next episode to find out what the topic is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>